Aidan Ewan and I've been diving for something like 24, 25 years. My name's Andy Parks, I've been diving for about 27 years. I'm Alejandro Gallego, or Alex, because nobody can pronounce my name properly. And I've been, I learned to dive nearly 30 years ago, it was probably 27, 28 years ago. But I haven't dived continuously throughout the thing. I had a spell of a short number of years when I didn't dive. I dive on, on closed circuit, which means that I don't produce any bubbles. And um, it's, a, it's a very different system that allows me to stay down for longer than most people on, on open circuit. Also, I can use different gas mixes, and that allows me to go quite deep if I need to. No, it's, it's a kiss. It's keep it simple, stupid. As closed circuit rebreathers go, the one I use is a very simple unit. And the philosophy is that if you keep it simple, there's fewer things to go wrong. So some of them can be really complicated, and mine is very simple, but I've done in the region of, I'm coming towards 800 dives on that unit, and I've never had to miss a single one through equipment failure, which is quite rare for closer control leaders, so I'm quite happy with it. I got into it more by accident than design. I think some people make a conscious effort to, to learn to dive because of their job or, or an interest that they have. Through my wife. We both started at the same time, she wanted to start and it was the only day of the week when my son was younger that I could go along and do something along with her on the same night. Every other night we would be babysitting for each other. I've always loved the sea, I think, because it's a great place and you can never get the full extent of what it's like if you just look at the, at the surface so underneath is what you have to look at. It's, it's like getting access to a totally different world um, without leaving the earth, and it's like you know, it's a bit like being an, an astronaut, but far more accessible. You know, you don't you don't need, need to join a NASA program to do it. You just join a club and, and off you go. Mm, I don't know that I've encountered anything scary in terms of animals. Um, some wrecks I find personally a bit scary. You get seals, which are very bold as well, so they. They can be very friendly and they come very close to you. We've seen some pretty crazy divers. Uh, I think basking sharks, probably. Uh, there was a couple off Murray Coast, up west of Fraser where last year, that would be about 20 feet long. Grampian Branch is a branch of the Scottish Tobacco Club. Um, we've been on the go since the early 50s with fairly steady numbers most of that time. Quite an active branch. We train people to dive. Not all branches in Scotsack are training branches, but we are a training branch. We train in Aberdeen Grammar School's swimming pool just over the winter months. Well, we've got two types of types of people we train in the pool. Um, one type is the people we train from scratch. So they've never been in, in the water. They might have done a, like a try a dive on holiday or something like that, but they've never learned to dive properly. And we teach them everything you need to know to make them confident the first time they go in the open water in the sea, which is very different from the pool. The pool, they, they might think the pool is cold, but you know, the sea is quite a bit colder than that. And there is movement and stuff like that. So it's very different. So we have to make them uh, and, and diving in a way is, is a bit unnatural, you know, you're not used to kind of uh, breathing underwater and things are very different. So, so we have to teach somebody who's never been there and done it to actually be reasonably comfortable and safe in doing it. And then we've also got the crossover, so people who have done uh, some degree of training with another organisation and uh, but to dive in, in our conditions, which involves colder water, lower visibility at times, then we need to teach them additional skills. So we, we do that type of training in the pool as well, most of the time. And then once people are fully up to our standards, then they come diving with us. In the we can supply most of the equipment that people need to start off with, but we don't supply things like dry suits, wet suits.
it is really good fun. Uh, you get to go places you've never dreamt of before. We go to the west coast quite a lot. We go up to the north coast of Scotland. There's a trip to the Red Sea, but our, most of our local diving is done on the Murray Firth coast. To get in and out of the water at Portsoy, and the steps go all the way in. It's a great place to take trainees. And when you go to the other side of the harbour wall, it's big kelpie reefs and quite a bit of life. And you know, it sounds quite off putting, but it's actually a really, really easy dive. It's probably the easiest dive site we go to, so it's a great one to get started on. You stand on the rocks, and it's all barren rocks, you have no idea how much life is underneath the water. We don't dive of bottom that often, to be to be honest. What we did a few weeks ago um, didn't involve anything like that because the hard was in, and we couldn't um, dive offshore because we would have potentially lost the divers when they surfaced in the hard. So we had to be quite close to inshore where we knew where people were going to surface. So that was a bit of a shame because it's more interesting offshore. But it was it was it was the first boat dive of the season. It was very cold. But it was it was good.
we don't tend to dive off the of the east coast um, boat dive off the east coast, coast that often because the east coast is is, um, is slightly siltier than the Mary coast so we tend to go more to the Mary coast there's a little um, lever which pushes against the valve in here which controls the amount of air you get and it had just come out of adjustment so I was hitting air out the whole time even when I wasn't breathing so I've uh, not been able to stay down very long. few islands just offshore from the harbour which are very interesting. You've got big currents there so you get a lot of, of sea life. Yeah we saw a, a flounder at the start just by the wreck which we all sort of picked up and took a look at. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind, swam off very lethargically afterwards. We uh, saw lots of, lots of velvet swimming crabs. They were hanging around. Uh, there was a very odd wee jellyfish. There was lots of encrusting life. It's 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 like getting access to a totally different world um, without leaving the earth. I mean, it's like you know, it's a bit like being an, an astronaut, but far more accessible. You know, you don't you don't need, need to join a NASA program to do it. You just join a club and, and off you go.